Today we feature the Pond Racer. The air races that take place in Reno, Nevada have always been dominated by World War II fighter aircraft. P-51s, Bearcats, and other highly modified aircraft battle it out over the Nevada desert at speeds of 500 miles an hour. In 60 years of racing, many aircraft were lost, meaning a piece of history was lost forever. Warbirds were disappearing. Enter Bob Pond. Bob Pond was a former World War II pilot, even had his own collection of warbirds. Bob Pond then teamed up with aviation legend Bert Rutan. The requirements were simple. It could not use aircraft engines. It could not use traditional aircraft parts. And most important of all, it had to take first place. And Bert Rutan was the only man that could make it happen. The Pond Racer was a typical Bert Rutan product. It was completely outrageous. No one had ever seen anything like it. Bert could have kept things simple and used time-tested radials or inline engines. But no, instead, the Pond Racer was powered by two Nissan V6 car engines. These were the same engines you'd find in race cars. These tiny Nissans were projected to pump out a thousand horsepower on only 3.2 liters. For comparison, the Merlins used on the P-51s had around 3,000 horsepower, but using huge 27 liter V12s. It was really, really challenging to make this engine work. They had to shoehorn this engine plus all the accessories, liquids, and electronics into a real tiny, tiny space. Instead of using av gas, the Pond Racer had to use methanol, which meant the engine ran cooler. This also meant that before each race, the engine would need to be preheated to full operating temperatures. So what was it like to fly the Pond Racer? Well, test pilots claimed it was harder to fly than a MiG-29. It had a very similar wing loading. And get this, it landed at 140 knots. That's how fast an airline jet lands. The Pond Racer proved way too complex and would spend most of its time on the ground instead of flying. It suffered from oil leaks, electronic failures, and engines would seize up with no warning. Also, the most they could squeeze out of the engines was 650 horsepower, far below what they needed to compete. In 1993, the Pond Racer crashed. The Pond Racer was lost forever, along with longtime Reno race pilot Rick Bricker. Bob Pond left the racing scene, and since then, no other custom-built aircraft has attempted to dethrone the old-school Reno racers. Post your comments below and subscribe to my channel so you're first in line to see new content. Thanks for watching. For more content, visit my Instagram account, Aircraft Adventures.